I am on a mission to see if London's bridge has indeed been falling down. I will report back. I am so excited. I haven't been to London since before 2020. So this is going to be fun. I just finished packing my lunch bag. I've got some of my seaweed snacks that I love. I'm bringing M&Ms because it's always nice to share something with the crew. A little miso soup packets. And this is something I've been trying to take before sleep sometimes. It's just like a little melatonin. I'm also packing some hummus. I already put some red pepper in there and a little bit of my leftover pesto salad. And then I made this salad with a hummus dressing. It's chickpeas, quinoa, and some greens. This was sold at Whole Foods, so I'm just assuming it's healthy. Obviously it's not, but we're gonna choose to be blind. I also saved this container from the last time I bought bubble tea and I made my own for the journey. So now I'm gonna call the Uber and I have to change into my uniform. So, gotta go. When I'm in London, I do a very bad, very, very bad British accent wherever I go, just because it's um, it's entertainment for me to see like people's faces, just kind of wondering like what turnip truck I fell off of. It's comedy and I live for comedy, so. We have landed in good old London town and I have not been here since the last time I was here last. That was deep. It is very obvious that I work through the night, but here in London, the time is um, like 3 p.m. So I'm gonna push through until 7 or 8 p.m. and then I have a good sleep. Jet lag will not have victory over me. So the flight here was really good. The crew was fairly senior and I was working with the best people. I love working with seniors. They just have the best tips and the best stories. And this phone is slipping to the side. I just bought this new phone case that sticks to the window or the mirror. Oh, and if you're new here, I'm Carissa. I'm a flight attendant. I always forget to introduce myself. I've been off work for a while, so after a few months of not working, I felt very rusty today. I haven't done an international flight since the whole COVID situation. So I'm just coming back to work after a medical leave. So I was just an extra crew member. So it's actually really nice to just ease into things kind of slowly for this month, which is good because mentally I was so sleep deprived before this flight because I skipped a day of sleep commuting here to Canada. So when we were trying to tip our bus driver for the drive to the hotel, I was going around collecting. So clearly this phone holder was not worth the money. So I was going around collecting five pounds in coins because I only have a five euro note. So I thought I could pay the bus driver with this five pounds, five euros. They're, they're not the same currency. And it gets worse. Right before the flight, I went to the exchange currency place in the airport and I asked for $150 worth of euros, but it's fine. I will use it eventually. So now I'm on the hunt for pounds and maybe some scones. And if I eat enough scones, I probably will get pounds that way, which isn't exactly the kind I want. <laughs> Um, my humor is at an all time, all time dip. While I'm here in London, I am determined to use as many British phrases and sentences that I can think of. So even though I'm a little bit knackered, I'm gonna go for a little runabout and maybe get some scones and a spot of tea somewhere. And just explore the city, bloody brilliant actually. And sometimes you have to remind yourself that if you do something really dumb, it's okay if people think that you're a few sandwiches short of a picnic. That's all right. I just learned that one. A few sandwiches short of a picnic. I like that. Anyway, um, again, humor. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go find some actual money to spend here on scones. Mm -hmm. I never miss a 
Doors closing. I swear to God, I think I felt my heart fall. She likes the way I play the game. But once it gets laid and over, there's no peace of mind. Asking me why. the morning to you I just realized as I was doing my makeup for the day that I don't have a lot of time so I should probably catch up and make a video while I do my makeup although I did just get this note slipped under my door that we have 30 minutes of a delay on our flight so I have a little more time than anticipated so last night was a lot of fun but my mission to find scones was overshadowed by the fact that these two beautiful flight attendants asked if I would join them. They have been in the industry for 35 plus years. So of course I am gonna say yes and go spend time with them. They are the most beautiful, beautiful people and the stories that they had to tell, mm, flight attendants have the best stories. So I cast aside all of my notions of scones and said I would just follow them around. And they took me to a little pub, I don't remember where, where we just got a glass of Prosecco. And then we went to Primark really quickly. Actually, I should probably show you what I got because it's very exciting. There is a rule when you go to Primark that you have to buy something. So I did. What can I say? I'm a rule follower. I am entering my romantic Victorian old lady era, and I'm really enjoying it. So I bought this very long, like silky um, nightgown situation. It's the kind of thing that you wear with this elegant house coat with lace on the sleeves that you answer the door in when you receive news that your great aunt has died and left you four million dollars. So this is my Victorian receive inheritance outfit. And then I got some nylons to wear for work. And I'm very excited about this because the flight attendants I was with yesterday said they swear by these. They bought a different kind than this, but this is the Primark luxury pair of glossy tights. The nylons that I buy in Canada are so expensive and they don't wash well, they don't wear well. And these are literally made in Italy. And they were five quid, as the British say. So these are the tights. And so far I think I like them. They're nice and dark. And then I bought a hair clip for clipping the hair. So those were the bits and bobs, another British saying, that I got at Primark. Then we went to a old, old church that they had turned into 
a restaurant bar kind of situation a whole bunch of different places inside and they took me down to the depths underneath the church to this very cool restaurant maybe it was more of a wine bar but as the british say it was the bee's knees then we went to mark and spencer's which is a classic thing to do on a london layover and picked up some groceries but the highlight of the evening was going to this amazing persian restaurant it's just this little place tucked away and the ambiance was 10 out of 10 so small and intimate but very authentic and the best part about it is it was so incredibly cheap it was probably 10 pounds for one one meal i think the most expensive thing on the menu was 15 pounds so it was an incredible deal for incredible food and they let you bring your own wine and then they just charge you a little cork fee they call it definitely a place i would be returning to i found some apples <laughs> Hello? You're welcome. Happy to stay with you. Anytime. That was an automated message where they thanked me for staying here and that it was time to wake up. Cheers, mate. This is water. This is just to be clear, this is very much water. It's just in a very cool glass bottle. Now comes the most difficult part. <sighs> this is a disaster. As the British say, I'm absolutely gutted, which means I'm really upset. I think I have gotten my eyeliner situation figured out. You just have to remember they are sisters. They are not twins. I am so excited because at the airport, they have a Nero coffee shop, which has the best hot chocolate. I think it's the best hot chocolate. I have a loyalty card and everything. So with that, I do need to sign off. I need to get into my uniform and get ready to go. So thank you so much for being here on this little London layover. Please like and subscribe and comment below what you think I should do in London next time I am here. Thanks for watching and have a magical day.